What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Spence. I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of y'all looking at me, y'all going to be looking at my computer screen. And I'm going to be showing y'all how to make professional mock-ups. So we better get right into it. Alright, so when you're looking for mock-ups or you try to make professional mock-ups, you can do literally, literally anything. You can Google pink hoodie, uh, black hoodie. Boom, much will come up. Or you can even use your favorite brands. So like Rue, Amiri. These are the examples I'm going to use today. So let's see. I'll use this shirt. So I'm going to take this shirt. You just go on their website. And if you can't drag it, then you can screenshot it. I want to screenshot that. And let's go to Amiri. And I use a black shirt for a Mary. So I'll just go here. Looks like the easiest. Boom. I'm gonna just drag that shirt over here to my desktop. All right. So here's the ones I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna just use. Uh, a Mary sample. Hold on. What is this? Okay, a Miri sample, and then Rue sample. Then I'm going to Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop, then you press open, and then you will type in whatever you save the design as. So I save mine as Rue sample. So as you can see, now I have the image pulled up on my Photoshop. Any of the Photoshops will work. You can do this literally with any of the Photoshops. So here I am. Mm. I'm gonna go here to this tool just so I can take off the design. Feel and then content aware. Normally that would just clear it just like that. Let me just how I did. Then here I'm gonna just take the tag off just to make sure you know what I'm saying it's more professional. Boom. Feel. Content aware and to get to the feel, I'm, I'm right clicking. I'm right clicking or double tap on a MacBook and select, deselect. So now I have this. So now it's, you know what I'm saying? It's the mock up. I'll probably, I can even go two ways with this. I can crop it so that way it's a square. And boom. Let me see. I'm going to throw a design on there now. So now I'm going to throw my design on there. I'll press file place embedded and then you will type in a design that you want to put on there I'm going to use my Mickey design and you size it how you want size it how you want boom you press enter and boom that's how you make the mock-up really really simple it's not as hard as people think all you need is just Photoshop. All right, so let's try the other one. See, open. Uh, I knew they weren't gonna let me do that. A very simple. So let me go back. You just have to. You have to make sure that the files are JPEG, PNG, something of that sort when imp like importing it into Photoshop. Hmm. So I'm just waiting until it pop up. Very simple. So there go what I'm about to use now. The very simple file open a very simple boom. Now same thing. I'm gonna use this tool right here. You hold on to this. You hold on to this part, and you can kind of just choose which one you want to use. I use this tool a lot. It's really easy. So boom, a box in the design. Right click, feel, content aware. It clears it right off. You can see it's completely gone. And I'm going to do the same thing for the tag. Same exact thing for the tag. Feel. Content aware. Boom. But for this one, I'm going to get rid of the background too so I can show you guys how to get rid of the background. For this, I'm just use the magic wand. You can use magic wand or you can use the quick selection tool either or. I use magic wand normally. It works for a lot of darker colors. So like that. Boom. I'll press right click and then here I have to press select inverse. Select inverse and I press this button down here to the right. 
boom, clears the background. And I want to get rid of the shadows by doing the exact same thing, clicking on it, and just taking it off, clicking on it, just taking it off. Clicking on it and just taking it right off. Let me get rid of this line too. Sometimes you gotta just do it a couple times just to make sure it's completely clear. So you see, I cleared this Amiri shirt. Now I'm gonna throw a design on there. Um, I'll throw my steel bad design on there. Mm, place. Steel bad. Boom, I'm gonna throw this design right on there. You crop it to the sizing you want. Crop it to the sizing you want. And boom. It's the wrong steel bad design, but it's just for example purposes. Like that. Or I can close that. And I can post one more. So I'm going to do a named uh, place. Oh, of course. So I'm low on storage, so. I'll be having to load this stuff up first. All right, I think that works now. Now we're gonna place a name. Should work now. Boom, there it is. And there's another design that I can play with. I can place it like that. Or I can Crop it even further down for pocket tees or, you know what I'm saying, left chest, left chest tees, front and back. And it's the same process for hoodies, sweatpants, anything. Then boom, now you make your mock-ups. I can hide this one and put this one back up. I can hide down and put that one back up. You can just play around with it now, you know what I'm saying? Command T, so you can play with the sizing. Command T, play with the sizing. Get all that, you know what I'm saying? Place it where you want. Command T, I can make it as big as I want. If I want to try to cover the whole T. You know what I'm saying? You can really do anything, but this is the basics of making your mock-ups. You can use any brand you want. You can just find stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anything. But yeah, my MacBook about to die.